to strike. There's a trying to do a this, this should be something that everybody is aware of because the women's movement was moved forward uh, exponentially on the salt of the earth strike uh, back um, 59 years ago in Taos, New Mexico. So, uh, To do it these couple of weeks, you know, I was in I was in Cruces a couple of days ago. Um, we started in Cruces, and the fact that Cruces, was well, Cruces, New Mexico, is the most liberal, inclusive town in the country until another state gets their head out their butt and, and allows people who love each other to marry whoever they want, good or bad. Then just the fact that this started in Las Cruces, New Mexico, is so cool. You know, that, um, you know the home of uh, the home of our governor, Susana Martinez. Um, is the place where marriage equality came to New Mexico. We should all, we're living in, in, in wonderful times. And, and talking about wonderful times, we need to meet my friend Hakeem. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy this, uh, Hakeem Dalman. Oh! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for John Henry. He is our fearless leader. Oh! The man does everything. The man does everything. He takes down guest spots, he puts together a tour, and then he drives the whole tour, and, and he does it, and he has witty things to say, and he doesn't even need a phone booth. We thank you very much, Mr. Rendry, you're awesome. Um, I want to thank Joe West and the workers. If you enjoy that, make some noise. Better come back. And I'll tell you why, because we've been on, we've been on a Six City store, tour, and now we're in Taos, and uh, I'm totally fabricating this, but just go with me. And we were in a band, we were like, nobody's dancing, so if they don't dance, we're not going to come back for a second set. I'm making this up. But, it is, but, but somebody came out here and danced. You can thank the dancers for making sure that Joe West and the workers are coming back. You guys are awesome. So Taos Mason Brewing, I had the hopper. I highly recommend it. Make sure you, yes, yes, I had the hopper. Very nice. Um, so I'm going to do a quick little rap because I do that sometimes too and then I'm going to do a poem and then uh, John's going to bring me back to do my labor poem later but uh, it's the end of Labor Day and some of us have to get back to work tomorrow and when I think of labor I don't because I'm a full time artist <laughs> but, but when I think of labor I think of uh, you know our individual struggles and how um, artists know that very well so this is a little personal story about me it's called Take a Number <laughs> How you ever gon' go and get that bread? Got about 400 square feet, so he sleeps in my bed. God bless the boy, he held feet and he needs to be fed. People are like, how you making meals out of poetry gigs? I say it's one part vision and one part ambition. Living off your dreams can be very nutritious. He gon' be a soldier cause his daddy's on a mission. To rock it, he's the only star in me. Solar system, how you ever gon' graduate and pop? But you a lifetime student and a halftime father. How you gonna go on tour, man? Don't even bother. You better off giving custody to baby mama. It's when I stop him. Get out of my affairs, my baby got a second mama and it's called a career He gon' grow up to be a monster and destroy your fears And let me know if I did right or wrong all of these years How you ever gon' go and get that bread? How you ever gon' go and go and get that fed? How you gonna make money off what's on your mind? I'm like, damn homie, people do it all of the time How you ever gon' graduate and pop? How you gonna keep it real when the dreams don't stop? They tell you what they woulda, coulda, shoulda, did with their lives. Tell the haters, take a number, please stand in line. How you ever gone? Cause I was born for this mission. Giving the curse of spitting rappers slash politicians. Working for my people so there ain't no commission. How the hell you post to profit off the gift that God gives you? When I got his permission to lose my religion, butt naked on the track, baptized in the rhythm, yeah, they call it a lesson, a miracle and a blessing. I'm kicking these juniors, so they call me Dr. Reverend, like Martin Luther sent me. The nuns won't repent me, saying I'm fast, trying to let me. Then they call it blasphemy, because the Pope don't represent me. I speak to God directly, ties, testimonies, and confessions on the record. Then they tell me I'm a reverence, and unconventional. The leaders do the unpopular, and not what they are told. 
I tell them thanks for your concern, apprehension, and bull, but I've never been popular or done what I was told. How you ever gone? Go and get that bread. How you ever gone? Go and go and get that fed. How you gonna make money off it's on your mind? I'm like, damn, homie, people do it all the time. How you ever gone? Graduate and pop. How you gonna keep it real when the dreams don't stop? They tell you what they woulda, coulda, shoulda, did what they lies. Tell the haters take a number, please stand in line. I got love for my offspring and occupation paid to bring people together with my lips. Separation, underrepresentation means the verbal taxation. Patria, ditch digging up the dirt on my nation. You could call it frustration or shovel ready projects. Cause building sand castles in the hood is not an option. Construction or drugs, the only way to buy a condo. Destruction or us, the ultimatum is survival. So I do what I know is best for my child, yo. Off the work like hi ho, me, ho, me, yamo. Daddy war bucks, cause I'ma fight for them dollars To send you to college Swear to God, your honor, don't know how to be a father No handbook or Bible But I was told, don't try to be perfect, be a model They listen to what you say far less than they watch you If I want them to achieve, I better try damn hard too Thank you So this one, I have to thank that fine gentleman right there, who I think is the proprietor of this establishment. I was having trouble with the wireless because I wanted to bring you a technology poem. Uh, so I'm going to do the technology poem now, but I almost didn't have it because of technology. Oh, the irony. So this, is called, this poem is called Open Email to the Future. I wrote it as a keynote poet at the New Mexico, uh, New Mexico, the National Conference for Media Reform in Denver. They have that every two years. And uh, yeah, they... And media nerds like me, people who fight to make sure that you're, uh, even though they're pretty high, your cell phone rates don't go out the roof. People who just met with Senator Udall to stop this whole NSA spying business. People who try to protect journalists and our First Amendment right and lobby in DC about that. I, I work with them and we do this for a living because we really like our Instagram. So uh, we want it to remain free and open like the internet. So we, we, lie, we, we meet and we like nerd out and talk about how bad the bad guys are and how good the good guys are. And uh, I wrote this poem for them, so I bring it to you. It's called Open Letter, Open Email to the Future for the, for the National Conference for Media Reform 2013. Do you remember us? Before I wrote you letters like this in cursive, and you told me I was not your type. Before, before, when your word had vowels, and we had promise, and should have kept both. When we were still stories. Like the one Reverend Vivian still tells about the preachers and their protests. The time we turned that jail cell into a low power FM, turned us into a one hit wonder, and those ministers sang us over and over again. Even after they were told to shut up, otra vez. Even after they were told they lose their mattresses, otra vez. Even after they were mattressless, they sang us again. Do you remember? When we spelled I love you with 10 songs, a cassette, a piece of tape, and a sharpie. Wrote possible love songs on it, scratched that, and wrote I like you a lot, volume one. And he gave it to her. And she gave one to her. And he gave one to him. And they all had the same 10 songs on it. Back when we thought digital revolution meant five finger instead of fist. Back when music gigs meant something different. Back when we couldn't fit a library of songs in our pocket, but we could in our heart. Back when we actually had to remember phone numbers and stop and ask for directions instead of pitching at Google Maps and still having to stop and ask for directions. Back when we had to admit that we were lost, that we didn't know it all. You remember when it was the satanic static in the wax that charmed daddy into drunk dancing instead of damage. When we used to cozy up to the snap, crackle, and pop of the radio just to keep warm. When the walls between family members started wearing moving pictures to give the illusion of spending time together. Remember when knowing what buttons not to push prevented distance and silence. Now it just prevents silence. When weeknight meant gather around the table for TV dinner with TV parents and Grace went something like this. At least we are not hungry and orphaned. 
Thank God for the Huxtables and both moms' jobs. When Neil Armstrong landed on the boob and the Challenger moonwalked and moonwalked and moonwalked on instant replay. When space stations started beaming stardust to our rooftops to remind us that we are radiant. When gamma rays only meant one thing. And it was not catching cancer from your cell phone. Just like Lou Ferrigno, for every worried about how big, but we should have been worried about how green. Remember when Super Bowl commercials didn't suck? When one bully was enough, but her smartphone is more socially awkward than her, so she keeps a gang in her pocket that pulls her where it won't leave bruises until it mega hurts. This email will self-destruct if the colonizers keep trying to plantation the internet. The airwaves are no place for a slave ship. They think that they are free when the people are the cash crop. Remember when we said we would railroad this super highway under the ground before we let them take us? Pandora, an old Negro spiritual station to pirate information with Dr. King broomsticking Morris Cole underneath the beat when it was his turn to speak. Remember that we are the First Amendment, the only industry protected by law, the lifeblood of the Republic, protecting democracy since long before Ben Franklin went postmaster general. How could you forget our endangered languages? Native tongue severed, newspaper noosed. Since the telephone is extinct, I wrote you this by hand. Worth more to you now as a collector's item, quaint as a stamp, before postage costs an arm and a laptop. You can't forget the names of dead homies haunt the address book on your phone, their Facebook page a shrine. Relive Newtown in pictures on a screen and call it therapy so you don't have to relive flashes in your mind and call it PTSD. I wish I was still a piece of paper. Not this immortal, this god. Corporations are trying to bottle and make a wish then at least I could be burned. And people would tether together around me again, hands held. The light I produce would be warm, not blue, but temporary. And they'd read each other's face, for real, for once, forever. And then they'd sing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Cosmetic Bruin. Thank you for being here on Back to Work Eve. I apologize, it's my fault, blame me. We're gonna bring back up Joe West and the Wizarders. Make some noise!